Hey y'all, welcome back to Liam's Tips and Tricks. Tonight is our update and event review, including the new temporary accessories, as well as my personal event plan. And you know, I've gotten asked recently a few times how much money I've spent on the game, and the honest answer is zero. Zero dollars I have spent, I have been a free player since the beginning, uh, so I bought absolutely nothing on my own account. Although, I did, however, buy a $10 bundle for my daughter because she wanted the die tickets four or five months ago, and you know, I love her, and it made her happy, so that's what's important. And also, just because my friend Sapphire's Flame enjoyed it so much last time, enough with the blah blah, let's get it on. Let's jump right in with the New Year's event. Here there's multiple missions in a weekly mission style. You just need to complete each one in order in order to earn the journey rewards. So starting at the top, clear adventure stages 10 times, use 2 materials and gear enhancement, 5 rank matches, defeat 1 enemy in team PvP, 100 monsters, those are all pretty basic and simple, and change gear traits 10 times. This is one that a lot of people often stumble on. What I did, even though normally I don't suggest doing it because it is in my opinion, somewhat of a waste of the trait tickets. The easiest and cheapest way to go is just to change traits on a D-grade item. It only costs one, and you can get it done fast, so it'll only take you ten trait tickets to finish that off, and also if you're looking for trait tickets, on the fourth day you get five trait tickets in the special login reward. And it also gives you three earlier here when you complete the five rank matches. So there you go, you only need basically two extra. Next is just participate in Team PvP. Now the first one, you do actually have to defeat an enemy, and so that would be a kill. Duo dungeons five times, raid dungeons five times, all pretty basic. Uh, defeat 50 or more monsters with rage skills. What I did on at least two of my characters for this was I just went into the gold dungeon on semi-auto and as soon as I was able to use rage skills immediately used them and you can easily rack up a lot of rage skill kills in gold dungeon. This one auto completed for me on all my characters. All you need to do is have your essence levels up to level 80. Infinity Tower 10 times. All you have to do is go to tower, and instead of hitting instant clear, because that will only count as clearing it once, and then you would basically have to wait until the next day. Easiest way to go is just to do continuous battle, and you're on floor 10, then you can instant clear, and that'll still count as 10 times. Let me go ahead and show that real quick. And we'll pause there so I can show you after three floors completed. There we go. Three clears. So that's the easiest way to get it done in just one day. Next is five duo dungeons, then 300 monsters, 30 adventure stages, five more rank matches, one material in rune fusion. So just basically any rune fusion. Fuse gears three times, dual PvP three times, five more rank matches, and finally defeat Zod in Adventure Stage 1210. You will actually have to go through the stage rather than just clear it. Other additions with the patch is they have added some new temporary Christmas emblems. One for fusing gear 30 times, and the other is a friend of the world. Send friend points to your friends 300 more times. If you have a full friends list, that'll take you 10 days. And these are limited, so at the end of the month, you're not able to earn these anymore. Although, as anyone who has watched my videos knows, I really don't care about the emblems or any of the fluff. If it doesn't add power for me, then I don't even bother. Also, we do have new costumes and deco. Of course, almost every patch you get new costumes. This time around, it is 
all about Christmas. Kind of. All about polar bears. Not sure how that qualifies as Christmassy, but hey, whatever. And I did also want to show you the difference in power. The Clockwork Bow was the previous S Plus with an attack of 2006. And the new Bear Bow has an extra 600 attack. So it is a, a decent increase. And also we do have the Christmas Deco. So with the Deco, the one that you really want is the Reindeer Antlers. With the chat reporting system, they have reduced it from 10 times a day that you can report somebody down to three times per day. I have heard instances of it being abused. So the reporting system is unregulated right now. Nexon does not really have a moderator who goes through and checks and see if those reports are valid. So just be warned. As I mentioned briefly in the New Year's event, there is a new seven day special login reward. And I'm going to go ahead and post the screenshot showing you all of those bonuses right here. One of the additional things that they've added with this update is the 2019 accessories. These are temporary accessories, which means that at the end date, when they expire, they basically become inert. They don't give you any any bonuses once they're equipped after the expiration time. So just keep that in mind if you do choose to buy them. They do have some significant benefits. They are pretty significantly stronger than the other accessories. As you can see, hit point of 37,767 on the Radiant Necklace versus 51,000. That's a huge difference as far as HP and it does give a higher attack also. One of the bigger PvP benefits for these is in the set bonus, if you do have all four, the fourth bonus is receiving fatal damage leaves you with one HP and basically a five second immunity timer. So you can't even be touched for five seconds even though you're at one HP. So tactically, you could conceivably run in in the middle of GBG or PvP if you take a bunch of damage, you have a five second immunity timer, you can pop off all of your skills, and you can take out some of your enemies in the process. If you're wondering how to get them, there are two ways. At the end of the New Year's Journey event, you will get one as a reward. I believe this chest is random. It doesn't specifically say, because normally with the chests it will say choice, but with this one it doesn't say it or you can also do it through the Christmas shop. And for 30 stockings, you can get one of the items. And that's how to get those. And now it's time to go over the Christmas event. Here we go, the Christmas events. The basics of development event is all about fusing gear. As you can see with the point values for fusing gear, you get the you do get the most points out of costumes, but obviously those are also the most expensive to get. Now it can be done, obviously I've already maxed it out on Ares here. And your totals of the rewards for the event are you get a total of 164 clear tickets, 164 of the boost ticket chests. You also get three Christmas chests, and then two each rank A armor. So you get two helms, two garments, two capes, and two weapons at the very end. Obviously it does take 18,000 points to complete, and the total number of stockings that you get is 225. And that, now for the everyone together, in total you will get 78 large SP chests, 39 giant SP chests, which give you a grand total SP of 4,680. For me, one of the more important ones is the ultimate scroll chests. You do get 27 for completing this event. Two each of the four rank A accessories and three more Christmas chests. It does take 11,500 points to complete and once again you get 225 stockings from it. Going over the scoring for this event, you get 10 points for every friendship point you send to a friend. So at maximum that'll be 300 per day. Uh, for having 30 friends. 10 points for sending cheers to a guild member. That'll be 290 day max if your guild is full. 
20 points for donating to the guild one time, uh, 100 per day for five donations. You can just do the gold, so 50,000 gold, no biggie. And you also get 20 points just for attending. So just with those four things, you get 710 per day as a maximum if your guild is full and if you have 30 friends. Uh, and that's just for what you should already be doing daily. Just those four things, even if you did nothing else listed in the event points, well, you can finish this event in 17 days. If you want to go for extra points to finish faster, or you just happen to get them as you go, you do get 30 points for every guild quest, which will give you up to 90 per day, up to 240 points for duo dungeons, if you did 12 duo dungeons in a day, and up to 600 points per day for doing team PvP. And it, it is participate, so you don't have to win. So hypothetically, if you just wanted a super hardcore mode and get this over with as quickly as possible, do all of those things that I mentioned, and it would give you 1,640 points per day as a max, you could finish it in seven days. Well, eight, but all you'd need to do is attend the guild and it's maxed out. Me, personally, I will not be pushing uh, this one super hardcore mode. In my opinion, it would take too much effort for too little in return, honestly. I just know that I can complete this event just by doing what I do every day. Now, as far as the Christmas shop and the stocking rewards go, once you complete both of those events, you would have a total of 450 stockings. So basically you could get each of these items that are available one time during the event. The Christmas costume deco, the Christmas costume chest, a pet summon ticket, and even all four of the accessories. And you would still have enough points left over to get four Christmas chests. Now for me personally, pet summon tickets are only good on the character purchasing it, so I'm skipping buying that on all of my alts, as well as skipping out on the temporary accessories. So I can instead get 24 Christmas chests. And what do they have? Well, here's a screenshot with the list of possible items that you can get from them. My personal choice is I'm going to take those 450 stockings that I get, and I will just buy the Christmas costume deco and Christmas costume chests. And then I will use all of the rest, should be another 280, and get 28 Christmas chests on four of the characters. What I plan on doing on Arisala is I'm going to go ahead and get the costume and deco chests as well, but I will get her a pet summon ticket too. So she will have 16 extra Christmas chests. So in total I'm looking at 128 Christmas chests from this on top of the 30 that I will get over the course of all five characters for the other parts of the event. Fairly certain that I'll make a sizable difference with 158 Christmas chests. But we'll see. Once I actually get that full stock of Christmas chests I am going to go ahead and pop them open on a future video. And thank you for watching. If you learned something, please consider subscribing for future videos. Lots more to do. Up next is all about pets. Every bit of info and advice I can find about getting the most out of them. And also, very soon we'll be having a gift card giveaway once we reach 500 subscribers. And I'd love to hear some ideas from y'all as to what kind of contest we should do for it. Let's try to do something fun. Please just leave me a comment below, like and share my channel if you're enjoying it. And Merry Christmas and Happy Hunting!